going on, everybody? So for the first time in a long time, I believe almost 30 years, um, somewhere close to that, that the Mr. Olympia competition has not been televised. So um, this year they are changing it. It is the 50th anniversary of the Mr. Olympia competition. And uh, it was just announced yesterday that they had signed a deal with um, MSNBC, or sorry, NBC Sports Network, not MSNBC. There's no To Catch a Predator going on. So signed a deal with NBC Sports Network, and... They're going to be televising it twice. Now, here's the thing. It is not live. It is actually going to be played back a month later. So the competition takes place September 18 to the 21st in Las Vegas. Typical location, which is the Orleans Casino and Convention Center. So um, NBC will be putting it on their sports network twice, um, October 18th, as well as a week later, October 25th. So it is definitely a step in the right direction for bodybuilding if you're a fan of not just lifting weights um, but if you're a fan of the sport of it um, definitely a step in the right direction it used to be televised and obviously um, bodybuilding just kinda got just a bad name for a long time and still does um, but I believe it, that's changed I believe it's kinda starting to get more mainstream again um, so it's a step in the right direction now it is not like I said it is not live it is gonna be played back a month later um, the cool part about it is they're not just showing the competition um, it's not just if you watch the bodybuilding.com um, live stream of it, which I've watched the last few years, um, I love being able to watch it live. So I'm hoping they still continue to do that part since this isn't played back for um, a month. I'm not sure if they will or if the contract states with them that, that they are the sole, um, basically, uh, you know, announcement of it, the sole video, you know, you know what I'm saying. If they're the only person that's allowed to show the competition, I'm not sure about the contract, contract what is and what's not. But, you know, it's cool. it'd be cool if Bodybuilding.com still does their live stream. But with this new thing with NBC that they are doing is they're kind of doing like a Generation Iron in a way mixed with the Olympia. So they're showing you about every bodybuilder and taking you behind the scenes of what it takes to get to competition and stuff like that. So if you saw my Generation Iron review, that's one of the things I talked about is I wish that they would actually show these guys leading up to their competitions what exactly they go through. Um, you know, when you watch um, UFC if you're a fan of it, they do um, like Road to the Octagon where they show these guys in their training camps um, weeks ahead of time or how they're preparing, things like that. And that is what I believe that this is what um, is going to happen as it states in some of these articles that I will post a link to one of the articles um, that came out yesterday talking about how they just made a deal. So I'm pretty excited as a fan of bodybuilding. I love to work out, but I'm a huge fan of um, bodybuilding, not just um Basically, not just the men's um, open bodybuilding, but the 212 um, bikini figure. I, I like it all. You know, I think everything is um, an art form in all honesty. And I think that it definitely takes some determination to step on that stage. And um, I have mad props to everybody that competes. Um, so, yeah, man, honestly, as a fan of it, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's definitely a step in the right direction for bodybuilding. And um, hopefully, you know, they use it for a positive to show... Um, the good part about bodybuilding not you know one of the things I talked about generation iron I hated is that they brought up like steroids I just hope nothing like that is addressed at all in this and it's just something that can make the public feel that bodybuilding is something that not for people who are um, stuck up that think they're um, you know bigger badder not for people that are arrogant or uh, have a chip on their shoulder or are aggressive rage you know steroid basically you know just people that aren't somebody you want to be around you know and the reality is that um, that's not true. That's just perception. So hopefully this this show will kind of, you know, get out to more of the mainstream public and be able to change the opinions of some people. So I'll post a link to that post where they uh, announced the deal. And uh, I'm excited as the months come. It's it's June right now. Um, competition is still three months away, but I know that it's going to fly by. And so I can't wait to see it, man. Um, I'm going to be definitely um, curious to see if it's going to be another repeat. Um, you know, last year I didn't think it was, but this year I'm kind of starting to think that by now... Um, Kai Green's not going to be able to upset Phil Heath just due to, you know, I don't know. I just don't think it's going to happen now. So anyways, I will obviously do a prediction video as it gets closer to the competition. But, alright everybody, have a good one.